There are striking differences between Russian submarines and U.S. submarines. One of them is visible from the latest Russian submarine that is newly incorporated, namely the B-274 Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky submarine, Forbes wrote. The B-274 Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky submarine uses a conventional diesel-electric power system, not a submarine with a nuclear reactor. In comparison, the last time the U.S. Navy commissioned submarines with conventional engines was in the 1950s. The new Russian submarine is an improved Kilo-class submarine. This is one of the 13 Project 636.3 variants that uses heavy-duty lead-acid batteries to power the propellers, and is sometimes recharged using a diesel generator, an engine power arrangement that is finally known as electric diesel. The last conventional powered submarine in the U.S. Navy was the Barbell class which was built between 1956-58. After that only nuclear-powered submarines were built. One reason is because the U.S. Navy needs its submarines to travel long distances from its base to the distant places needed. Nuclear submarines have a nearly unlimited range, so the main limitation on endurance is humans. Patrolling more than one month is very common for nuclear submarines, and sometimes for much longer. This is equivalent to one week or several weeks on most conventional submarines. Nuclear submarines are also faster and have more surplus energy that can be used to drive a strong sonar arrangement. In the open water strong sonar makes the submarine far more deadly because it can hear the enemy farther and then move faster to get into position or escape quickly. The US is not alone in leaving conventional submarines. The British Navy and French Navy also do this. The main and most obvious advantage of conventional submarines is that submarines are smaller and lighter and thus cheaper to build, and easier to operate by crew. Submarines can also kill almost all of the power systems and sit on the seabed, making the submarine very difficult to detect. In addition, geography is such that Russia expects many of its submarines to patrol relatively close to its base. This is especially true for the Baltic and Black Sea fleets. Russian conventional submarines are deployed to all fleets, even in the vast Pacific where improved Kilo B-274 submarines will be stationed. Unlike many other countries, Russia has not adopted a modern air independent power AIP, system. This means that the more modern Kilo class and Lada class submarines must frequently approach the sea level to replenish their diesel engines. The AIP propulsion system provides alternative energy submarines to drive the propeller without appearing frequently. This expands the underwater range and enhances its stealth capabilities. There are reports that Russian Lada class will get the AIP system, but until now it has not been realized. So the Russian Navy still appreciates more limited conventional submarines to supplement their nuclear-powered submarines. The calm of this submarine might give Russia an advantage in several scenarios, especially in shallower waters. Thank you for watching my channel. This video is just an illustration. I hope you can understand it. Thank you my friend.